Donye is my older sister and honestly my first friend. The family and Donye have always expressed lovingly how Tyrone and her are perfect complements and how different they are. She's a planner and meticulous. Tyrone is flexible and laid back. Tyrone grew up an athlete and definitely loves football. Donye didn't necessarily grow up an athlete and probably prefers foot bats. <laughs> they share many of these unique differences, likely many small like those, and some distinctly larger. What is completely evident that trumps it all, though, is their choice in prioritizing each other above any of that. It is that they each share the trait of a strong will and direct that towards choosing each other that makes any differences irrelevant. Uh, first time I met Huddy, he was in high school. Dated Donye briefly, being a 30-year military man. First time I met him, he was parked outside, and Donye said, I want you to come meet Huddy. And I said, what is a Huddy? <laughs> so I walked outside, and here's a young man sitting with his leg outside of the car, and he looks up to me, and he said, what's up? <laughs> and I said, oh my goodness. So fast forward to five years ago, Danye had her 30th birthday party at a hall in Mount Holly. Some of you were there. And uh, she didn't know that I was flying in from Europe the day of her birthday party as a surprise. Kim was the only one that knew that I was flying in. In fact, I only came in for two days for her birthday and then flew back to Europe. And sitting at the table with her was Tyrone Bowers Morris. And I hadn't seen him in about 12 or 13 years. And I looked at him and I said, now this is a man that I can get to love very dearly. I've been Danye's best friend for many, many years. I lost track of how many, we won't talk about it. <laughs> um, but we went to college together. Um, after high school, of course, and I remember one day I was driving home in a snowstorm, took the boulevard home, got home, like, okay, we're safe in our dorm. Diane starts packing up her bag. <laughs> like, where, where are you going? Going to see Tyrone. <laughs> That's when I knew that there was something special and there was that love there. And I gotta say, over these years, to see what's transpired and to see how happy you've made my best friend, I can't tell you how much that means. Yeah, I'm Danye's little sister. I'm the mini sib. So when I was brought home from the hospital, Danye sat by my bassinet and would not let anyone else touch me. You are the true definition of a day one, and today I'm so proud to be by your side. Not only are you my sister, but you are my second mom, my best friend, my workout partner, my right hand, my go-to. You're the first person I call when I'm sad, mad, happy. You're also the person I go to when my mom and I argue because I know when you're on my side, it helps me win. I truly admire the way you handle the ups and downs that life has thrown at you. You handle it with grace and a smile on your face always. I've always looked up to you and there wasn't a time I didn't want to be like my big sissy. Because of how much you mean to me, Knowing that you have Tyrone in your life brings me real joy. I know you have a man who loves you, supports you, helps you lighten up a little bit. We know you're a little uptight sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and makes you laugh like I have never seen you laugh before. Tyrone, thank you so much for loving my sister the way you do. It's been a long road, and if you, as you guys know, this, the love story of Tyrone and Danye, this is go round number two for them. And finally, they got it right. Tyrone, I thank you for not only loving my sister, but also coming into my family and loving us just the same. You look out for all of us with no hesitation and have one of the biggest hearts I have ever seen. I'm glad to have gained another brother. If y'all don't know that 15 years of everybody talking about, I was the one that was there when he met her. Um, the five years ago, I was the one that called him and told him to check his social media. Um, 
I wish y'all the best. Uh, I've seen a lot, and Donye, I'm happy for you growing him up, because I remember those days. And he is, he's definitely Tyrone Bowers Morris now. Um, I vow to always put, put God first. I know with his words, I know our marriage will be got it on the right path. I promise to be faithful and never take you for granted. I promise to always talk your love language and never fumble your heart. I promise to always protect you and the girls. <clears throat> I promise to take care of you when you're sick. <laughs> I promise to work hard so that our bond will always be stronger than ever. I promise to love you and be by your side all the time. Thank you. This is one of the reasons I'm marrying you today. Even though you were so nervous, you knew it would mean a lot to me for us to write our own vows, and you did it to make me happy. You always find ways to give me what I want. Since they won, you consistently make my happiness a priority. You're my person, you're my best friend. So I vow to always appreciate you and not take you, your love, or your generosity for granted. I will try my best to be the person you need in return. Your best friend, lover, supporter, co-parent, I'll strive to be patient with you and with myself as we support each other through life. Whether we are at our best or facing storms, I promise to have faith in our love and in our unit. I will give God thanks daily for you and our family and our girls for being in my life and try to be the best wife you deserve for the rest of our lives. Now that you have given yourselves to each other with solemn vows and the giving and receiving of rings in front of God and all who are gathered here, it is with great joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now seal your vows and kiss my sis.